Coming up this week on Stage to the Cage. It's going to be great, great for the UK, especially Octagon to come over here as well. I think the show's great, and Paul's going to make a statement. So, yes, this is a set for Seth Matt's lunch. Looking forward to being on the show. Imagine I get to 97 and I have to lose 20 kilograms. That's a 20 kg plate that you put on the bar. I can barely bench press one of them, let alone freaking lose one. If he agrees to do this, he will give his fucking all. I'm confident that he's going to win. So if you don't, fucking don't come home. Jake and Paul have quite quickly realised that this is going to be a slow and quite literally painful process. Both already know that the one ingredient to all the success they've had in their lives already is hard work and that is the most important ingredient when it comes to training mixed martial arts. Jake is stretching his days, he's doing early morning sessions, late night sessions, while he still gigs, auditions and makes TV appearances around the UK and Paul. Paul is even training on his birthday because the only celebration he wants this year is to get his hand raised in the AO Arena in Manchester on November 4th. At the minute, you know, we started off, obviously when we first started this and, and it was all being announced, you know, it's about him adjusting to the life of a pro fighter, really, and getting conditioned to his training. Obviously, Paul wanted to jump straight in and do, like, a million sessions a week and and blasting because that's just who he is and it was like being sensible enough to taper the plan to to perform you know accordingly if one want to hit that peak and so now it's just about developing you know skill acquisition developing the fitness whilst we're doing that and adding to his overall game just so when he goes into the octagon cage he's ready to to perform like a, a professional which he will do no back then just pull that back Bring it. That's better. There you go. There you go. There you go. Where did that one come from? There you go. Make me own up, yeah. That ball's sick, as you can see. He's like Rocky Balboa. I think he's just his hard work is really paying off. He's never missing. He's doing all the things that he needs to do and his, his level's picked up massively. He's already successful in what he does and he's, he's taking a big risk and it's really admirable, really. I think it's great, yeah, it's sick to see. Oh, how old is it? Oh. How old is it? Eh, uh, what is he? 11 and a half weeks. Yeah. It's a real training camp, Jake. Get yourself a puppy, roll down the floor with it. Pass me that, come on. Come on. Go on, you can do it. Come on, pass me down. Go on, away you go. Come on, man. If you beat me, you get him away. Get into the wall, drive in. Stand up with both legs, drive in on the toes, right? Move, move in, take him down now. Stay heavy on him, pick that leg. Yeah, stay heavy now, stay heavy. Stay heavy now, grab the wrist now, grab the wrist. When he goes to get up now, I want you to reach that arm. When he turns onto his front to get up a little bit, yeah. reach your right arm over his waist and grab his wrist. Stay heavy now, grab the wrist now, grab the wrist. Grab that wrist, pass. Yes, grab the forearm. Stay heavy now, lie on it and pin it. Not really, I'm buzzing to see. I think it's going to be great. Great for the UK, especially Octagon to come over here as well. I think the show's great. And Paul's going to make a statement. It's going to be great to see. I just think he needs to keep doing what he's doing. I don't think there's anywhere that's like, oh, he needs to do his striking or he needs to do his grappling. It's, he's new to the sport. So, yeah, I think he's doing great in all areas, to be honest. For the, for the length, what has he been doing? A couple of months, something like that. And he's already on, he's on three, four, five sessions a week here. Then elsewhere, do you know what I mean? He's training like a professional, so good on him, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Stay heavy, stay heavy. I think it's important that, you know, anyone involved in MMA gets behind this, because this is going to pave the way for um, another great show to be, to be, to be here regular. I, I know his opponent is announced, I know he's fighting Jake, and Jake seems like a, a lovely lad too, and uh, athletic and it'd be a, a, a good scrap, but irrelevant of his opponent, it's all just about how good can we get Paul in that time frame, and that's, that's our main concern. And, uh, to be honest, there are no concerns with, with his development, what he's doing at the minute. It's always hard getting your head around a new combo. Like, I overthink it, mate. Especially when, obviously, getting filmed and you're like, that looks stupid. <laughs> but yeah, it starts to sink in. It's good when you start sinking in. 
it's quite, it's really satisfying when the first couple of times you do it, you're like, that makes no sense, and then after a while your body's just doing it, and he doesn't have to call anymore, just showing the pads. So I am in Leeds today. Um, we are, well, we are. I am on um, a show called Seth's Pat Lunch, talking about another show that I've done called Help My House Is Haunted. It's always nice to be north, and Steph's lovely. Steph Pat Lunch, the whole team are really nice. So yeah, it's going to be a great little show. So let's head on to Steph's Pat Lunch. Okay. Hi, mate. You all right? Of course. You're definitely rocking that coat. Oh, do you like yeah, it? Thanks, Can you send Thanks. to Stephen, please, as well? PH. Just, thank you. 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 I feel, I feel like I'm getting a bit heavy, like I'm eating loads, and he's like, don't, don't matter. He just said, don't go past 97 kilograms. I was like, 97? Imagine I get to 97 and I have to lose 20 kilograms. That's a 20 kg plate that you put on the bar. I can barely bench press one of them, let alone freaking lose one. Um, so he's the bad influence, because I'm like, I'm gonna start cutting a little bit and, and watching what I eat. He's like, no, you don't need to, you're fine, keep eating. But then it's, it's not helping because I'm eating and, and I'm lifting. So I've like added strength training to my routine, which I kind of stopped doing weights a little bit. So they're, they're back now and then eating loads and I'm like, fucking look like the Incredible Hulk soon. You're anxious, get anxiety waiting around. You're here so early and then you're like, I always think, yep, yeah, from my research chat, I know exactly what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna come across really fucking eloquent and vocabularized is that even a word and then i go on there and just fucking waffle comes out for 25 minutes it's like jake what the fuck did you just say Why do you always get this bit? Leave off. So yes, this is a set for Seth Pat's lunch, which is really great. Um, looking forward to being on the show. And then there's some great guests on. You can see Simon Rimmers here to cook a chicken curry. The audience are all here, so yeah, it should be good. It done, uh, Steph's pat lunch, tick. Now I've got to drive to Telford for something else that I'm filming tomorrow. Good, good day, good in the bank. We banked it, we banked it. Do you ever like walk through stuff and like imagine what you do if there's like a gang of lads that stared on you? Do you ever do that? Mm. Like now I walked in here and there's like a gang of lads on BMX, it's like smoking weed and they're like, Oi, you fucking give us your wallet. And like, guys, guys, everything is fucking. And then you just walk off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit. That followed through. That was that curry. That was the curry. The curry. <laughs> you can see your green nipple through it. That's why I've got a green nipple. It's why I'm a green nipple if no one sees it. Aggressively green. Hulk nipple meat. Hulk nip. Spending my birthday the way I would choose. Standing in a shop waiting for lots to buy clothes. Can I just say, we was meant to come. Else. <laughs> we were, he needed to go shopping and he went, oh, we might as well get you stuff. He told me not to pack anything. And uh, here we are and he's moaning about it. Very bridge version. You clearly need a top that isn't see through, so better yeah, get right. started. Yeah, I feel like you're the only one that's got a problem with this top. The depot shop with loads of stuff and then just coming in and tag it all up. Yeah. Yeah. 
to do it yourself. Come on, if I learn to suplex someone today, you can do that. I could suplex someone better than very do good. this. Very good. <laughs> 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 Oh, you sure it's your birthday? <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah. This is probably the most me time. Normally it's well worse than this. Normally I don't get to wear a coat. It's a very special day. <laughs> um, it's fine. Pint. You can't say that on camera call. Your birthday? Can I have a pint on your birthday? Can I? Do anything today, really, because he's, had, he's been training hard. Our Paul. Um, <laughs> look, there's a baby. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> yes, Paul's training very hard. I really, I just couldn't. I'm just so busy. I'm so busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm overtired. I would normally try and get a nap in, but I couldn't. So that was my own silly thought. I thought cake would eat on nap. I thought the power of cake would get me through. And that fucking bastard stab on me, I was healing it from the coast. She goes, slack. Oh, you fucker. Dirty bitch. It's like fucking Last of Us. You, he was on an arm about it, because he always gets uh, asked to do fights and stuff. Octagon invited us to Prague um, to try and persuade him I think, and uh, he was like, yeah, we'll just, we'll go in it and just like, you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it, I don't think I'm going to do it. And then uh, they got him pissed. <laughs> Charmed the shit out of him. And um, and both of us, actually, because um, I was saying to you earlier, uh, earlier on, like, we after we spoke to him and we went to, you know, the fight and stuff like that, it was, um, I, I thought, I said, turn around to Paul and I said, I think this is going to be right up your street. Um, and I think I was the one that said to him, I think you should do it. If he'd done it just for money, he would feel like he's just in there f to get money. And I think um, the fact that he's took that away um, really shows how much um, this means to him and how much he's um, going to put into it, really. There we go. Um, give me a cheer if you've seen from before. Thank you for coming back. If you haven't, if you haven't cheered there, I imagine you have seen me, but not in real life, like on Instagram or TikTok or something. Probably while you're at work having a shit, I imagine. <laughs> Seems to be my market. It's just made it all real, hasn't it? You know, I think when Paul went away to Prague and he'd done his walkout... Paul Smith! I'm so gutted that I couldn't be there because, like, even just from the video, I've got butterflies, do you know what I mean? As I walked through that, that, that threshold, and then the arena just opened out in front of me, and I heard, heard that noise, it just took me and I was like, yeah! <laughs> I, 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 I could feel I, I was, I was, I felt like I was going to do something anyway. And then I heard the music and I thought I'd pick a good song here. The song itself is amazing because it's like da da. But I can just hear him go da da. <laughs> Thank you.
stage to the cage. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, right back to you one more time. Paul Smith! This roof just went off hey. for you, my man. Too late, though. That's my stuff. You know, because he's already lived that walking out onto stage and loads of people cheering him, arenas cheering him and stuff like that. But I think this hit him different. And uh, I think that's what really, like, give him that proper buzz. So he's known about it for a while, but I think that really sort of give him a little bit of a tingle in his willy, so to speak. <laughs> the one thing that I said is that if he agrees to do this, he will give his fucking all and um, nothing, nothing less. I'm confident that he's going to win. So if you don't, fucking don't come home. <laughs> Next time on Stage to the Cage. The problem for him is he's got almost too much information. Yeah, I think for him he's going to be filtering down and figuring out what really works for him. It's just like you put your staff up and down, isn't it? You're, like, you're going to move away and make the time reset a little bit. Why does anyone do MMA? It's stupid. Fuck me! Smash fuck out of him today. <laughs> you can't go and play a game of football with Ronaldo. But you can get on the mat today with Owen. Owen's one of the top grapplers in the world today. You go around to the left now. That's very good. Ah! I tap. Sam, I tap. Ah! What is that?